everyone, this is Fanny. Welcome back to Creature by Fabi. Today I have five DIYs for you. Super quick and easy to decorate the coffee bar for Easter and Spring. So I really hope you guys enjoy it and stay to the end. So let's get started. So for my first DIY, I'm going to be making a cute little farmhouse tray using Dollar Tree canvases plastic eggs, acrylic paint, and also chalk paint. Okay, I'm going to remove the plastic using the scissor as you can see, and then I'm going to remove all the staples. So to be able to do that, I use a knife. So if you do use the knife, please be really careful, and also a little plier. So once I had removed all the staples, I went ahead and grabbed only the frames and I'm going to be saving the canvas for another DIY and another time. <laughs> so now as you can see, uh, the back part of the canvas has the little holes from the staples. So I'm going to use that part to be able to create the bottom part of the tray. So I'm going to use a popsicle sticks size medium. So then I apply the wood glue and I use another little stick to spread it out on the frame and at the same time also use some hot glue for a quicker process. Went ahead and placed all these popsicle sticks and look how cute. Alright. Once I had the bottom part of the frame, now I'm going to be using the drill and drill some holes on the corner. So mark it down first, as you can see, and then I'm going to do just halfway. What I mean is I'm not going to do the hole completely to the other side of the frame. All right, so I did that with the first frame and then with the second frame, mark it down and did the holes completely. As you can see. And then I just wipe it out the dust. Alright, now we are ready to build our little tray. See here I'm showing that one frame has completely holes and the bottle frame doesn't. It's halfway hole. Dollar Tree is carrying those little eggs for over two years already and every time I see them I always grab one or two packages. Okay, those eggs has a little hole right on the bottom but I'm going to be drilling a hole right on the top as well. So now all the eggs has the little holes on it and now I have some leftover bamboo skewers so I'm going to use those as a base or reinforcement of my tray so I went ahead add some hot glue place it right on the hole that we did on one of the frames and then put the egg through the skewers as you can see and repeat the same step with the rest of the eggs in each corner So once I had all the eggs and the skewer on the first frame, that's how it looks like. Now we're going to be placing the second frame right on the top using the same skewers. That's why we did a completely hole on the second frame. Alright, now it seems like a trait, right? <laughs> I went ahead, add more hot glue and don't worry because it won't look messy. After get it dry, I went ahead and cut the excess of the skewers just like so. And look how cute this little tray looks already. A sturdy tray. Okay, we're going to use the same paper and send it out the pointy parts on the top from the skewers and also remove the excess of the hair glue. Alright, once that was ready, now it's time to add some paint and I'm going to be using the chalk paint and the color chiffon cream. Once the paint was dry, that's how it looks like and I just love it at this point. You can just leave it as it is and I think it looks perfect. I was going for a distressing look so I went ahead and used the antique wax and use a little piece of cloth and just wipe it out all over and distress it 
as I want it. I also add some of the yellow acrylic paint just to add more texture to the tray. And basically that is it for this one and I think it came out absolutely beautiful. You can use it all year around on the kitchen with different items. It will be just perfect kitchen decor. Absolutely beautiful. But I always want to know what you guys think. So please let me know in the comment down below. Before to move on to the next DIY, today's video is part of the fun collab Follow the Rainbow hosted by Crafty Lenny and also other talented ladies in here. So we also doing a 100 PayPal giveaway. So all you have to do is go and comment on my video and the rest of the videos on this fun collab and you are is going to be participating so good luck everyone so let's keep crafting for my next DIY I'm going to be using three recycled jars from tomato sauce and the same chalk paint and yellow acrylic paint so this project is so quick and easy I went ahead and give it light coat with the white paint first and then I'm going to be giving really good coat with the yellow paint to the three jars just like so so once the yellow paint was dry now I'm going to be using the empty wax and a piece of cloth and basically distress it the entire bottles or jars I mean to give it that really nice um, farmhouse look all right once i was done with that i went ahead and just placed it back the lid as you can see the lids are different only because i want something secure so i went ahead and grabbed another lid for another jars <laughs> right now i'm going to be using those cute little tags from dollar tree and some twine so i went ahead and wrapped some of the twine right on the top couple times as you can see and then i'm just going to be removing the little cloth pins that come on the little tag just like so and then just place it on the jar just by using high glue and basically that is it for this one and look how cute i just love it perfect for a spring easter and summer i just love it and you know all you have to do is just write it down what you want to place on it coffee sugar cream whatever you want to put on it <laughs> perfect for our farmhouse easter coffee bar all right so as you can see i've placed it on the little tray that we did before and they just fit perfect i just like i say i just love it but i always want to know what do you guys think so for our next diy i'm going to be using some plungers three plungers to be exact one i have used it already so that's why it's cut and painted and some little bunnies that i believe i got it in a flea market or a garage sale all right so i have done something similar on the past uh with plungers and also some um sponge brush sticks so i'm going to be removing the little labels first so i went ahead and used my little heat gun i'm so excited with my heat gun i recently got it and i've been using it like crazy and oh my goodness it saved me a lot of time <laughs> all right so then i just grab the same paper and it's smooth it out some of the stickiness that's still on the plungers now as you can see some of those plungers they are not the same size so i'm going to be cutting the ends uh, with my mire box so i always like to use masking tape to keep my pieces together and don't be having accidents with <laughs> so yeah i did that as you can see i'm going to be saving those little pieces because i might use it on another diy soon <laughs> so and then i just smoothed out the edges again with the same paper now i'm just going to be mark it down in some distance in between i think it was five centimeters each um to be able to place the middle part now in this case i'm going to be using hot glue but you can also use wood glue or another kind 
strong glue but I use high glue only because I'm going to be using some nails and I thought that was enough in for the purpose that I'm going to be using a little louder so but uh, like I said you can always use other kind of glue and will be sturdy so once I have the middle part attached now I'm going to be adding the nails using my little hammers and voila I also forget to mention that, that I have used the drill on one of the middle parts and I create two little holes on it to attach the little hooks where I'm going to be hanging my little marks. But before that, I'm going to be give it really good coat with the chalk paint as you can see. And then I'm going to be repeating the same process that I did before with the empty wax just to stress it and give it that really nice rustic look. Yes, like so. And here I just go back with the leftover white chalk paint because I have heavy hands and sometimes I just add so much paint. <laughs> Let me know if you are the same. Okay, then I just add the little hooks on it and look how cute. I'm going to leave that ladder on the side just for a little bit and I'm going to be working with these cute little bunnies. And first I'm just going to be kind of adding some of the chalk paint to blend it out some of the, the original colors on it. So the little bunny is going to have a yellow shirt so I went ahead and just I grabbed my little brush and paint the little shirts on it. So I grabbed some of the color gray granite uh, from Apple Barrel and just paint the little uh, tails, the feet and also the ears. And look how adorable. I just love it. And we basically done with this one. All I'm going to be doing is just adding some hot glue and place the right one on the bottle and right on the top. And voila. I just love it. I think it came out so cute. But I always want to know what do you guys think so please let me know I also would like to do a quick reminding about the 20 lap challenge coming up March Thursday 18 at 5 p.m. with a special host Sandra from the showing Nest DIY so stay tuned so i hope you guys can join us in the next week so for the next diy this one is we can see and i just love it i think they came out absolutely beautiful as well so let's get started dollar tree carry those candle holders for a while in different shapes and different colors and also those pipe uh, trays so I have used it before on the previous DIY so now I just going to give it really good coat with this chalk paint and basically match with the same color of the candle hole so I went ahead and attached them with a the high glue but you can also use E6000 So as you can see my little tray has a hole on the center because I haven't used it before so I'm going to be covered that with this cute little bunny my friend Maria from crafting with Maria sent me those calendars that I was so happy when she sent it to me because I haven't been able to find it on my dollar tree so I cut the little bunny and then I just going to add some mash brush and place it right on the center and look how cute I just love it. And then I'm going to be using the same yellow paint and I started just adding some little dots around the edges but then I just did it completely. I also added some of the antique wax and also come back with some of the white paint just to get the distressed look that I was looking for. And at this point you can just leave it as it is and I think it's so cute but I cut the little tag that was on the calendar picture too and some twine so I went ahead and just place it right on the bottom just to add some detail make a little knot add a little bit of hot glue and place it on it and voila look how cute you can use it as a simple tray with a little home decor on it or or you can also add some little cupcakes because I already had the little plastic on it so they are covered so you don't have to be worried about it and will look really cute as well. 
so for now i just show in here with the glass top that i have for another cake stand i added some little eggs on it just for decoration and i think it looks so cute And for my last DIY, this one is quick and easy as well. So Dollar Tree carried those little wooden pallets. So every time I see those, all I think is coasters. So here we go. Let's make a little coaster. So I went ahead and add some shell paint. As you can see, distress it with the empty wax, just like so. And then I'm going to be using one of those little eggs, bunny bunny eggs. <laughs> and use it as a stencil so i went ahead mark it down with my pencil as you can see so first i thought i want to use those pink pins that i have with the color brown and i started with the first one and i also fill it with the yellow color on the center and i thought it looked so cute but then i changed my mind and i ended up so i did the same with the rest of the little coasters and look how cute i also draw a little face using the permanent market and i also going to be using some stickers from dollar tree and spell some word on it just like so And then I'm just going to be using some mash post to reinforce the little stickers on it. And basically that is it for this one. And look how adorable. I just love it. And basically that is it for today. I think the old DIYs came out so cute. But I want to know which one is your favorite one. That's how my coffee bar look for now. And I think it looks adorable. I just love it i love to play around with my coffee but all year around <laughs> if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also don't forget to go leave your comments down below and follow the rainbow and good luck with the giveaway so god bless you all and see you guys next time ciao ciao